high levels of access to water, to, to safe drinking water and sanitation, compared to the others, I repeat, compared to the others. So not compared to the necessarily to the absolute benchmark. If you want to have the absolute benchmark, it's 100%. But compared to the others, actually, Guatemala is one of the better performing ones in the set of countries. It's good at promoting complementary feeding practices once the child sort of um, moves away from, ex from, from breastfeeding sort of to, to um, um, how we could solid foods and continuous breastfeeding at the same time. 90% um, of pregnant women sort of are visited by skilled health, health personnel at least once during delivery, meaning they have also potential access to uh, critical sort of nutrition interventions prior to their delivery. It's a good moment of time sort of to actually sort of to try to sort of catch and sort of intervene for those women who are sort of undernourished, uh, for, whose, um, whose, for whose, whose children therefore are also sort of at risk, uh, low birth weights, etc. We see Guatemala invest substantially in health. Um, it's put in place sort of a zero hunger plan, the current sort of um, um, I think President, Prime Minister, I'm not quite sure, President uh, Molina, um, he's put in place sort of this plan with clear targets also to be achieved within his tenure from 2012 to 2016. He's committed to bring down sort of stunting rates by 10%. So very clearly set out sort of what sort of the ambitions are and therefore making them much more accountable sort of to actually um, to see whether they, he's able to deliver on them or not. Um, there's data available in Guatemala. Um, regular sort of um, surveys are conducted. Uh, this is critical for policy makers. Without data knowing what is the status of the situation, how will you be able sort of to come up with the right interventions? And sort of 